Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to the second video of API testing series. In this video, we are going to learn what is Postman and how to install it and then we'll also learn few of the features of Playwright. Let's begin. So in our previous video, we have already learned like what is the Postman and overview and also similar products that are related to the Postman. For example, Insomnia or Paw, Sagar and few others, right? So in this video, we are going to focus only on the download and installation of Postman and the features. So to download, it's very simple. Just we have to go to the postman.com slash downloads and we have to follow the instruction. It's going to be very simple. So you can install in any operating system, Unix, Unix Linux, or maybe like uh, Mac or the Windows. I'm going to follow in Windows machine, but the steps is going to be very similar in all the operating system. Before that, let me give you an hint what was play postman earlier so it's a chrome browser extension so postman is like a chrome browser extension uh, but of course it has evolved a lot now it is a standalone application and it is built on top of electron js so electron is basically uh, it will take the html files javascript the css all the like web components and convert that into a native uh, machine uh, like windows or mac operating system application uh, maybe uh, we'll learn about the electron js if required in future but today we'll stick to our uh what we call that portion that is installation of postman so just go to postman.com slash downloads or you can go to the postman website and click on the product and click on this download postman and here based on your operating system you will see the download button in my case it's windows 64 bit okay so click on this it should download the exe file Okay. It should download in your browser. In my case, I'm using this free download manager, which is used to download big files. Uh, yeah, if you want, you can use this, but ignore this step. Just you have to download and do the installation. Yeah, so download is complete. I'm going to open this in a folder, show in system. And yeah, here you can see like the postman. Uh, this is basically your uh, exe file. So if you go to the properties, and if you go to the so it's a exe file okay it is around like 140 mb or 130 mb so just double click simple step sing uh, simple steps as you download and install any application okay The installation is actually completed it's very simple it won't ask you a lot of details okay so as soon as you open this you will see something like the white color theme so if i go back and change so it will be in your case it will be like light like, skip so already i have this postman so it stored few of the data but you can ignore this okay now here you can select this is the default ui of uh, postman so here we have this menu like we can go and do like file operations edit view and help okay if you go to the help and if you go to this um check for update it is the version like 11.5.0 uh, as of this video i'm creating on july month of 2024 this is the latest version okay and here we have this home so home is basically your page where you can create an account now postman is actually not fully free uh, we have two types of licensing one is the community edition where we have like uh, certain limits and then we have the enterprise edition but for our learning we will stick to the community version and in my office also we use the community version so not a big deal now here you can select it will ask you for your work email uh, you don't have to worry about this you can just simply go and do your uh, the google account as, as well okay or you can just continue with the lightweight up api client that means uh, we can just use this state away we don't have to uh, worry about account creations and everything but i will recommend you to create the account so that whatever the uh, postman collections we are going to create we can uh, take that in any system like it will be your storage uh, cloud storage and you can access it in anywhere okay so this is the workspace and you have explore if you click on the explore uh, basically it will give us some uh, additional informations like what are the apis are trending what we can use so popular on the community today and all this so you can explore all this just for your learning but no need to worry about it anyways i will uh, tell you everything in detail okay 
Now, if you go ahead and click on the setting icon here, so you can see like we have the uh, settings, we have few uh, documentation related and then we have sign in and create account. So if you are doing it for the first time, you have to create an account. So I will also do the same. So it should redirect to your browser where you can actually create either you can enter your email password and do the account creation or you can just use like uh, the Google sign in. I'm going to prefer the Google Google sign in because that is easy. Okay. So in case if you want to create an account, you have to use your work email. But in my case, I will just go with sign up with Google and I will select my account. And here you can select it will redirect to the desktop application. So we have created our account successfully. So first step, you have to download the postman. Second step, you have to do the installation, which is just a double click. And third step, you have to create the account. Now, in my case, since already I have used like uh, the dark theme, it's always coming to the dark theme. But in your case, it will be like if you are using it for the first time. Okay. So I'll just give my name like Kaushik. And then what's your Ray role? Ah, I'm a QA quality engineer and tester. Okay, so let's go and continue. Okay, so this is the default UI. I will just go and make it simple. So if you go to the settings now, the settings has changed. And if you go to the themes and we'll make it like like for now. Yeah, we'll just keep it light for now. We'll change the, this to darker in maybe upcoming videos. Okay, so this is how it will look when you install the postman and create an account. Okay, so what we got now is very simple. So it's just similar to your Chrome browser. It will have multiple tabs. I will tell that in our next videos, but we'll focus on this part now. Okay, so this is my workspace. Workspace is like in Eclipse, whenever we create a project, we'll get the workspace, right? So workspace will have certain files, certain settings. Similarly, in Postman also, we have this workspace. Of course, you can go and change the name. For example, here, I'm going to make it like, uh, I'm not able to type, why? Yeah, it should be like YT tutorial. That means YouTube tutorial. So I'm going to make, name my workspace as YT tutorial. You can change anything or just leave it as default. So we can just close the overview tab. So what we have is new import. We'll talk about that in the upcoming videos. Then here we have this collection. So collection is like uh, packages, I can say, like where you can have multiple requests. What is request? We'll see that in later videos. Then we have environments. Environment is basically we have steps of environment. So for example, we want to run our API testing, the uh, all the requests in maybe in QA environment, staging environment, dev environment or the protection environment, right? So to handle this, of course, we don't have to write multiple requests and multiple, uh, multiple like for each and every environment, we don't have to write multiple requests rather than we can write only one request and based on the configuration, we can just trigger it. Okay. Then if you're doing something, of course, you will get the history. In my case, there should be. Okay. I don't have any history, but yeah. And then here we have a configuration sidebar. So if you want to do some uh, configuration, probably you can do that. We will come back to all this in the later part of video. So in the next video, we are going to focus on the collection and we are going to hit our first request. Okay. And here you can just go and explore if you want to take some public API and if you want to try it out, you can do it yourself or else from the next video, we can start together. Okay. Let's learn few of the uh, usage of Postman. Okay. So what do we know? Postman is very popular. Uh, it is used for API development, testing, debugging and documentation and also the monitoring of API. So API testing like we can, it supports various HTTP requests like get, post, put, uh, patch, all this we will discuss in our upcoming videos. Okay. And then we have a collections. Collections are organized, are used to organize APIs. Like you can have multiple requests and we can organize those basically and as discussed environment variables you already know and then we have automated testing so for example if we have want to run a request based on another request of course we can all we can do all those with the help of javascript so learning of javascript is already an added advantage if we don't know javascript or typescript of course you can refer to my those playlist 
and of course the documentation we can create the documentation which will be interactive using the postman and we can use the mock server so already i have done a video on the mocking using playwright maybe you can refer to this of course in the playlist i will cover those as well and we have this api monitoring so if you want to set an uh like uptime or downtime of any api you can use the api monitoring collaborations basically you can share your collections share your environments and other resources so which is really good integration of course we can run this in the uh, github jenkins or we can do the uh, notification to the slack but to run in the github or jenkins a postman uh, alone is not enough we have to learn the new man of course we will learn that in our upcoming videos okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment i'll be happy to reply and of course hereafter i'm going to publish regular video so do support me tada bye bye take care